Take a good look, you two. The grass type Pokemon, Grookey. The fire type Pokemon, Scorbunny. And the water type Pokemon, Sobble. Line up, everyone! Which one will you choose? I know exactly who I'm choosing. Despite everyone who I've seen online picking the same one. Go on, you pick first. I've already got my Wooloo after all. Aha! The perfect point to... Save. Which makes me think that they've done that on purpose, which is very nice of them. So, we could go for the grass type, not seeing him at all. The fire type, not seeing him at all either. Or the water type. Everyone seems to have picked Sobble. I mean, it's Score Bunny. It's gotta be Score Bunny. Best starter. Best starter at you. Score Bunny is fire type. It's filled to bursting with fiery passion. You set on choosing the fire type Pokemon, Score Bunny? Yes! You chose Score Bunny. Uh, I'm not going to give it a nickname, basically because I want to actually learn the names. Ba -ba 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 -ba. <coughs> so we'll be Score Bunny for you. Nice one. All right. So, um, if we're gonna go by, uh, just logic then Sobble is the best choice to go for. Because, if I remember correctly, your rival in this game, well, I'll find out in a second, takes the one weak against you. So he's going to take Grass, for now. But, if you pick Water, then he picks Fire, and the champion also has Charizard as his main one, Fire, so Water is the perfect choice to make the game easier. But you want to pick grass if you want, like, balance, because then it'll be you with grass, then him with water, and the champion with fire. But no, score bunny. Then I'll go with Grookey. You're mine. Yep, he goes for the weaker. I'm aiming to be the next champion, so be ready. You and I'll be doing some serious training. Also, it makes sense for him to have the water type if he wants to outdo his brother. I bet you will be Hop. That's why I brought along these Pokemon for you and Victor. So the two of you can battle, battle and train and grow stronger together. To try and reach me. And you'll come with me. Charizard will show you the ropes. He's strict, but real strong. And real kind too. Alright, enough of this trainer nonsense for one night. Dinner's ready, children. Bring along your Pokemon and let's all eat. Thought we were having a barbecue. Oh, ne never mind. Ignore me. Shish kebab! Oh, that was new. Not sure why the healing music played when there's no reason for it to heal. Whatever. The next day. You spent the whole night with your new partner of yours, right, Hop? You two are getting on all right. Understand one another? Maybe even built up a bit of love. Of course I have, Lee. Fix made fast friends with his score bunny, too. 
Then listen up, you trainers. Believe in yourself and your Pokemon. If you trust in one another and carry on battling side by side long enough, then someday you might even become worthy rivals for me, the unbeatable champion. What are you looking at him for, Lee? I'm the one who will be coming to challenge you. If you think Victor... If you think Vic might be able to challenge you, then I guess he's my first rival. But I'm not planning to lose to him and miss out on my chance to beat the unbeatable champion. Just having a Pokemon with you doesn't make you a real trainer, you know? Proper trainers raise their Pokemon up to be first rate in battle, too. Oh, and you think... Oh, and you think you're worthy of calling yourself a proper trainer already, Hop? I mean, he does have a Pokemon already. It's better than I did. Guess I'll be the judge of that. Let's see how you handle yourself in a battle against your friend, if he's up for it. What do you say? Willing and ready to take Hop on in the first ever Pokemon battle of your life? Sure. Believe in your partner, Pokemon, and care for them too, with all your heart. Do those two things, and I'm certain you'll learn to choo choose the moves that suit your Pokemon. And more importantly, to have a champion time battling with them. Looks like everyone's on board, Pokemon and trainers alike. Then let's do this. I've watched every match that Lee's ever had. I've read every book and magazine he left behind at home too. I know exactly what to do in order to win. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Hop. Wooloo. Eh. Eh. A Pokemon battle is then. I've got two partners with me. Yeah, that seems like a fair start, but okay. Alright. Lord Defense. Hmm. Let's just go for attacks. Kick. Kick! I'm kicking a sheep in the face. One more kick, please. Dead Wulu. Dig it a ding. And yeah, thought so. It's not over yet. I've added another trusty ally to my team. <laughs> Jim, I just got a fire type move. Real shame. Did you already know about type advantages? Yep. Dead monkey. <laughs> and I half a level. Oh no, full level. You defeated Hop. You beat my two Pokemon with your one? You and Scorpion are too much. Give me your money. Well, that was a shock. Guess now I know why Lee thought he should give you a Pokemon too. You and your Pokemon all fought well, says Hard. Made me almost want to let out Charizard and join in on all the fun. Good effort out there, Scorpity. Why don't you get all sorted? Now why don't I get you? And Victor, you've got real promise. In fact, I have a... A favor to ask you. Be a real rival to Hop, would you? Push him and make both of you stronger. Oh, I really want to get stronger and stronger. Oh, I am already. Oh my god, I can't read. I'm an idiot. You've seen me battle now, Lee, so come on. You've got to let me take on the Pokemon gyms. You? Join the gym challenge? 
You think you're ready for the single greatest competition in Galar, in the Galar region? I mean, are there many other competitions or is it just the greatest because there's the one? Not putting the cart before the Rapidash there, little bro. If that's really what you want to do, you two have a whole lot you need to learn about Pokemon. Especially your friend Victor. Before you think about getting gym badges, best to think about getting a Pokedex. A trainer's Pokedex helps them learn lots of things about all the Pokemon out there, including their strengths. But it's more than just col a collection of data. You know, it's, it's a record of a trainer's love and passion for Pokemon training. Right, 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 we get it. Pokedex is then. We're on it. Looks like it's off to the Pokemon Research Lab for you and me, Vic. That's the kind of enthusiasm a trainer needs. I'll let the professor know to expect you. I'm going to be the next champion, so completing a simple Pokedex will be nothing. Just another page in the tale of my legend. You'd probably go and better go and tell your mom that we're heading out, though. Alright, no one around yet? Yep. It got through the fence, didn't it? Hey Vic, did you hear that just now? The gate's open, and the Wooloo that was there, not there anymore. Not so much. It was tackling the fence pretty hard earlier. You don't think it actually broke through there, do you? But it's off limits. No one's supposed to go in there. I remember the professor's granddaughter went in once, and she came back in a real state. And that was nothing compared to the earful she got from the professor afterward. Vic, what do you say? <laughs> Save the bugger! Save that stupid Wooloo! The meh Wooloo. Right, even if we're not supposed to, this is the kind of scene where you simply have to do what's needed. Hope you're ready for anything, because we're going in, Vic. I just realized, I should actually see what the one I got is like. <laughs> so, special defensive defense down. Kind of garbage, but because of the new candies in the game, it's not super important. It's probably got, like... Awful IVs. Can you check? No, you can't. I could have swore that they said they would let you check. Oh well. Come on, Vic. You can't just leave the Pokemon on its own. What horrifying thing will we find? The slumbering wield. That Wooloo, where did you think it got off to? Oh, The fog is really coming on thick now. If we don't find that Pokemon soon, uh, this might be trouble. I like this music. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
There! Now let's push on! Ba ba da ba da ba. Look at Which is like cute as heck. Ba 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 bum 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 bum. I do like the new music, which is good because we're going to hear it a lot. Yeah. I wonder if this is on purpose or if it's. Like, just a coincidence that they're not attacking. Because this is a potentially a good way to teach about stat lowering moves. But it could be just a coincidence. Also, I bet these are shiny locked. At least I hope they are. What was that? I swear I saw something in the background there. I just realized I can look back on the footage. Never mind, continue. Woo! Hmm, a dog. I wonder what could be in here. What horrifying dog like thing. Did you hear that? Was that a Pokemon crying out, do you think? A woo! Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. I think this one's going to attack. So we saw two Statloas. Now an attack. Am I right? Crit! Burn! Yep. I might watch some other people's openings to see if it is, like, always the same. Not bad. No items. <laughs> Come on, Vic. That Wulu might be in real trouble. <laughs> I have a sword. Well, no, I suppose you won't have the sword yet. Or is that a spoiler? Oh, I love this music. This is mad. I can't even see my own head in front of my face. I think I get now why this place is off limits. Legendary doggo. Legendary doggo. What in the? The road. Uh-oh. Question mark appeared? <laughs> Fight it! Fight the thing! Uh-oh. The move had no effect. The mysterious Portland's gear is fixed on you. What? The, the move had no effect on it? The move had no effect! More fog for you! Vic! I can't see anything! You okay? No effect! More fog! Ooh! That's a nice touch! I can't see anything! Ah! I could have taken him. Ha! Huh, Victor! Lee? 
How'd you manage to find your way here? Your pants with directions, you always get lost. Another one, pants. Oh, that's nice to hear from my little brother, who had me worried sick. I've been waiting ages for you two, and you never showed. Of course I came looking for the both of you. Wait, where's Wooloo? We were trying to rescue that Wooloo. Meh. The little chap's fine. Though, all of you had, had fainted by the time I found you here. You know this place is out of bounds. And I can understand well enough why you did it. You did good, huh? At least that Wooloo's alright. Yeah, Vic? I thought we'd had it when that weird fog started rolling in. And that mad Pokemon attacked. Well, technically it didn't really attack, did it? But, at least it wasn't all for nothing. Attacked by some mad Pokemon? What are you talking about, Hawk? It seems loads stronger than any Pokemon I've ever seen. And it had... I uh, just had this sort of presence. Our moves didn't even touch it. I mean, really. They seem to pass right through it. It moves past right through it. I imagine it was like an illusion using the fog. So, the fearsome Pokemon that they say lives in the slumbering wield. Are they actually illusions or something? Get strong enough and maybe you, the two of you, could be the ones to reveal the truth someday. For now, let's simply get out of this place. You'll be alright now that I'm with you. Even if we did have... Get an earful from Lee. What an experience! This will make a pretty fine first page in the tale of my legend. Don't forget to tell your mom we're off to Wedgehurst now. She'll go spare if you leave without a word. I understand where that, how that works, but I don't recognize the term going spare. Even worse than Lee just did. But you, Mumsy. <laughs> well now, isn't Scar Bunny just a sweetheart? Why'd I give her this voice? And yes, I heard the news from Young Leon. I'm glad someone bothered to tell me. After Wedgehurst, aren't you? Here we are. A bit of pocket money for your journey. Buy yourself a little something at the Pope wants it. Maybe some potions or something. Remember that Scorbunny will battle to the very end for you. So don't you go pushing the poor deer too hard. <laughs> and you too, Scorbunny. Look after my little Victor. Come home and rest any time that you need. After all, east to west, home is best. How much did she give me? Oh my god, she gave me 30,000! So you know when I joked earlier about... Like, my mum bought me... I went the wrong way. My mum bought me a TV for my Switch. Boy, she must be rich. Apparently she is! Yeah, have a little treat on me. Like 30,000. Oh, there's two Badoo now! Not you, I want to talk to the other one. I know I wasn't going to do anything, but I wanted to do it anyways. Oh, you can't check your own post box. Meh! Bye, gum lad. Here we go. This is quite the big step, you know. My first step towards becoming the next champion. Guess I'll probably train up Grookey a bit by having a battle against Pokemon in the tall grass. You should get yourself to the building with the purple roof and the great red and white ball. Mark out on front. That's the Pokemon Research Lab. Yeah, I'm totally gonna head. Hmm, I wonder if it wants you to go in the tall grass. 
You wouldn't want to wake up this sweet sleeping Wooloo, right? But I'll take the long way around. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba. I wonder if these could be shiny. Because technically you could have Pokeballs by now. Because I've heard there's quite a few things in this game that are shiny locked. Alright, didn't expect it to use a move I've not heard of. Or I have I heard of Power Trip? I don't feel like I have. Oh, so close. Potion! So it's squav it. Squav it the squirrel. Which when it's shiny is red, which is a nice touch. Yeah. Good. Don't attack anymore. Attacking's bad for you. Eh. Nice. Quick attack. Also nice. Paralyze heal. Ooh! Blip bug! Oh, that's dead. <laughs> that poor thing. Well, that blip bug. So I'm guessing that this, the exclamation points are going to be blip bugs here. Do 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 bam bam bam. I mean, I quite like a high level blip bug. Great for experience. Yep, and they've cleared off. Oh no, they haven't. I'm wrong. Ignore me. I know exactly what I'm talking about. Oh, pop in. Oh, can't talk to these people. I hate that noise so much. I've just remembered that the sign here used to say. Or what it used to say. To the right is the Pokemon Lab, to the opposite side the station. And now you are the sign. My Wooloo simply loves the Pokemon Center. Come along, Wooloo. You're perfectly healed. Time to go home. Meh. Nah. Alright, I guess I'm not allowed to heal up yet. What happens if I go up here? I lost to the trainers out training their team on Route 2. I just can't believe it. Give me a moment to process, would you? I'm in shock here. I knew someone would stop you. Alright, let's head to the lab. What are you? No, no number. Oh, it's just some person's house. Hi, I broke into your house. 
Sonia and Leon used to have a healthy rivalry, but... Leon loves Pokemon and loves Pokemon battles. I remember he would always go all out, even on practice matches. Ah, some nice exposition. Yum, num, num. Berries! I've got your fresh pick berries! What do you say? Interested in something? Now I'm good, but thank you. Thanks for stopping by! Come again! Clothes shop! The smash! Kick the door in! Clothes! Welcome to our boutique. Anything I can help you find? Clothes! Oh, that was actually really nice. I like that one. What else we got? Oh, hoodies, nice. I love how already got my character design done. Almost. Oh, I was like, what's this changing? Socks. Oh my god, there's so many socks. Shoes. Oh my god, Lofaz. Not many options for shoes, is there? They'll do for now. Oh my god, I really don't. I just realised how weird those shoes are. They've got like platforms on the bottom. Sure. Just waste all of our money. What backpacks? Ooh. Let's stick with that one for now. Hats. Let's go for a different colour. I love how I've spent like almost all my money already. Can you zoom? Oh, you can't really zoom in. That would have been good if you could for like this type of stuff. Nah. I want black. Awesome. That's like oh, half of my money, well, over half, gone. But sure. I can't help myself. I'll change the backpack eventually. But I want to keep the weird giant one that daddy gave me. 